So, geez, what's the topic today? Uh, topic, what are we going to talk about? So what's the topic today? So what are we going to talk about today? So what's the topic for today? Back to the topic. What's the topic going to be today? Topic, topic, what are we going to pick for a topic? The topic today, let me think about that. Hey, it's Don, the Auction Professor. Today we're going to talk about something that comes to mind for many people from their childhood. We're going to talk about model kits. Back in the day, for many people, models were the thing. You could build a diorama, you could build a scene, you could put them together and paint them. They've kind of gone out of fad, other than some of the really high dollar ones. We'll start off with the vintage ones and we'll work our way up to what is popular and selling right this very moment. Let's head on out and look at those right now. Now, models have been around for a long time. Some of the kits can go for some insane amounts of money, even ones that aren't as old as you would imagine. This is from Star Wars, but why is this one worth $1,183? This is the illuminated version. This one lights up. It's a complete kit. It had little bulbs and a battery pack, and the whole works with a panel you could take off. I remember this. This was always out of my price range, so I've never had one, but this is just an awesome piece here. $1,183, as I said. Now, carrying along with the Star Wars theme, this is a studio scale. This would have been the scale that they used to actually create the movie. This is an excellent example of one. These are resin kits. These are incredibly well detailed. This takes a pro to put some of these together because some of these kits can be 100 or more parts, all of them that have to be finished. This is just an excellent piece for $825. Some of the hottest examples of Star Wars are these lighted kits. This is a Super Star Destroyer, fiber optics and the whole works. Very nice, $2,000. People put kits together and they will light them and then sell them for a lot more money. Now, prior to Star Wars coming out, one of my favorite TV shows was Space 1999. Here's an example of the Hawk, which was the combat version of the Eagle One, basically. These are very nice. This is a studio scale as well. This person is casting its own on this example. This would be what would be called fan art to some extent. $750 on this one here. Now, most science fiction and fantasy TV shows and even movies had their own model kits available back then and even still to this day. This is another custom model of Seaview. This is the submarine from A Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea. I watched that as well. It was on reruns when I was a child. Excellent example, $2,125 with the stamp. Nice piece example, instantly recognizable if you've seen the show before. Now, my first model kit I ever got when I was a kid, before I appreciated what they were and before Star Wars came out, was a Pirates of the Caribbean model kit that I actually bought in Disney World when I was a child. My parents took us there, and it was a skeleton kit. And I fondly remember it because you could put rubber bands on it, and they actually would do actions and move. They had plastic clothing. You could paint them to look realistic. These are extremely scarce these days. This set of six of these went for a thousand dollars now the key to this is you want them unassembled and hopefully still attached to the sprues in their sealed plastic with any decals or anything else that would have come with it they have to be complete to carry the most value excellent example very nice lot here now my favorite brand was Aurora they made everything Aurora was like the king so to speak of plastic model kits in the 60s and 70s and even somewhat into the early 80s this is Godzilla I did like the Godzilla movies I liked Ultraman and the whole works which was just now coming on TV when I was a child here in this country now this one is still sealed in the original plastic fifteen hundred dollars and tying right along with godzilla is king kong same series same set 1963 real nice example of this sealed as well sealed is the best you can get in mint condition 
This next one here is the Banana Splits Banana Buggy. This is from a TV show as well. It was technically a singing group. They even have a new movie, which is a horror version of the Banana Splits, if you're unaware of that. This is a super scarce one. I have not seen one of these in real life. 960 bucks. Now, model cars are always great as well. It just depends on them. Some are much rarer than the other ones. This is an original Bandai, which is probably just a copy, not necessarily a bootleg, but a copy of a U.S. version of this this is the jaguar xke 1000 bucks as well still in the box still ready to go now renwall made some as well most of theirs were educational to some extent this is the workings the visible airplane engine it's basically you're building an actual airplane engine that would have been on a prop driven plane back in the day 795 dollars from 1962 now, the odder the model, sometimes the better. This is just an automobile chassis, the visible automobile chassis. This is a Renwall as well, too. This one went for a 1000 bucks, complete, still in the box, and ready to go. Now, this next one's a Pacher. This is a luxury brand. These things are extremely expensive. I believe they're Italian. This is a Bugatti from 1933. This one went for $2,650. Some of this brand can go up to five dollars or $6,000. Metal pieces, metal parts, excellent detail. One of the finest model kits I have ever had in my hands. Aurora Love Doing Characters. This is Apache Warrior on a horse. Very fine example. These are kind of dioramas as well. This one went for $760. Here's a mint in the box sealed Superman from 1963 as well. $750. So if you like DC, they had them as well. So if you were a Marvel collector as well, they had them all also. Here's Captain America, $689. This is another factory sealed version. Sometimes these turn up in boxes at an auction, still sealed in the case. Now, we can't talk about models without touching on Ravel. Ravel is an excellent brand for some of these vintage ones. Their sci-fi space exploration series are just phenomenally collected, and some high dollars go for most of those. This one sold for $699. Brand new, in the box. It's been open. Parts have been semi-separated, it looks like. Still just an excellent set here. Some of these very, very rarely show up, and that's why they command such high values. Another fine example is the Space Station kit by them. This is from 1959. It has multiple pieces you would put together, multiple vehicles, $1,425. This is probably the luxury, the top of the line for these Ravel Space ones. Now, moving up to today, Mobius, Polar Lights, and some of those brands are ones that are sought after. This is a Mobius Models. This is the Metal Edition. This is made out of metal. This is Jupiter 2 from Lost in Space. That is another TV series that I religiously watched every single day when I came home from school. Reruns were still playing. I loved the black and white ones as much as I loved the later ones in color. Excellent example. This model can be made to light up and do all kinds of things. That is why this one costs $4,000. The metal ones are just the primo top of the line that are being made still to this day. They make them in studio scale again, larger models than you would see in the store in the cheaper plastic versions. 20 years ago, these weren't mainstream, but nowadays these are hot items right now that command premiums. People display these in offices and on high-end collections also. So vintage or new, they still carry a value as you you can see. Well, there you are. Hopefully that gave you some ideas and some thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell your friends.